You may begin at any time. We are ready whenever you are. I'm sorry, but if you're not prepared, perhaps, well, for the love of God. Young man, do you realize where you are? Good afternoon, sleepyhead. Are you ready for your big test? It's just a midterm. It's just nothing to get stressed about. Just a midterm? It's a milestone. Did you study? Yeah, all night. But, um, I mean, it's a hard class, and the, the TA is a hard grader. T and A? No, Mom. TA, teaching assistant. Uh, she, um, grades exams and, and helps Professor Stevens and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I'm not as lucky as you, Cooper Scooper. I never got a chance to learn all those fancy college terms. I know, I'm sorry. Hey! Did you get my... I love you present? But I love you present. The scrunch is kind. To help you kick butt on those exams. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'm sure you'll do great. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. Oh, Nate, did you see, like, a package my mom sent? I guess I just one. Well, are those the cookies my mom sent me? No, these are the cookies that your mom sent the both of us. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. Okay. Well, it's funny because the note is only written to me. Really? Well, postal service must have lost mine again. You know, this is getting ridiculous. I'm sorry, she calls you Cooper? <laughs> 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 Oh! Seriously, Lubo? Oh, to our wonderful son, Cooper Scooper, we're so proud that you asked to call him a full scholarship. Here's something yummy for your tummy. <laughs> hey, Lubo, you seen the remote? Uh, I was looking for it last night. Cookies. Yo, M&M's. Whoa, we have M&M's? Yeah, here. Bam. Huh? Nate, did you study for the midterm? Um, yeah. I studied with Mandy last night. She actually just that, left. That was Jessica. I saw her leaving. Really? The one with the um, blue eyes and the nice um, personality? Yes. She's not even in our class. Well, whatever, dude. I'm gonna be just fine. You're the one we should be worried about. He spends every minute of class either drooling all over his desk or reaching under it to adjust his crotch sickle. I do not uh, drool. Crotch sickle? Is that a thing? <laughs> thing okay, it... Lubo. We gotta go take this exam. Yeah, it's for this cool new thing called class. You should check it out sometime. Uh, that was way too nice outside for that. <sighs> Feel free to take, uh, Destiny. She'll get you there quicker. Um, we don't ride two dudes to a scooter. But, thanks. Peace. Bye, Lubo. Hi. It's only gay if you do it twice. Danny, you know I'd love to, but... Fine. Well, I am sure I can find something that'll entice you to come visit. Like, I don't know, maybe one of the new outfits I got? Let's see, what am I? Oh, my new push-up bra. I like it, provocative. Or, by far the most exciting thing in my entire room. Jackie. Boring, want the bra back. Hi, Michael. Jackie and that girl across the hall are having this competition to see who can spend the most time alone in their room. My money is on Jackie. <laughs> I heard that. I'm sure. <sighs> you ready? Oh, yeah, we have a midterm. I gotta go, baby. Okay, good luck in the exam, guys. Bye, Danny. Thank you. Okay, did you pull another all-nighter, Jackie? It is just a midterm. Okay, I was up all night, but it was not because I was stressing out about the midterm. Really? No. I was reading my essay for the Kingston competition. Oh! oh my it was goodness. a very productive night! Yeah. Okay, you know what? It wouldn't kill you every now and then to, like, I mean, you know, leave the room, maybe, like, meet some new people. What's a big rush? No rush. You're gonna say hi to him today, aren't you? Well, I hope for your sake, she never actually says hi to you. You'd probably start crying or something. I would not start crying because a hot girl said hi to me. 
that happened once. And I had allergy. You know, we're doing a study down at the psych lab on female-induced weeping. Very common problem among men your age. Thanks, Nate. What? Nothing to be ashamed about. But Coop, 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 come on, look. You gotta get this under control, bro. Okay, you're right. I'm just not gonna think about her at all for the rest of the day. Oh, good job, man. Oh, but those glasses. Oh, God. No way, I am not doing that. Fine, Jackie, you don't have to do the sexy eyes, but the only way he's ever gonna get to know how smart you are is if you go up and introduce yourself. Wait, I don't know how to approach him. He's so intimidating. I think it's that wise, knowing stare of his. You just stare at her. It's like you're having some sort of wet daydream or something. Is that even physically possible? Uh, yeah, lubuasm all the time. All right, look, Cooper, listen to me, all right? You can beat this. Now just close your eyes and visualize. All right, you're gonna walk in there and see her. And this time, your tongue is going to remain in your mouth. You think you're ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, yes! Preparing for the midterm. Good. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what, Professor Stevens? Professor Stevens, hi. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to bother you. My name is Jackie Pearson. Mm -hmm. um, I was hoping that after the exam today you could take a look at my extra credit All right, bro. There she is. Stay relaxed. All right, everybody. The exam is about to start, so if you could just take your seats. Hi, right, Cooper. Let's go. Cooper, Scooper. Oh, come on. Hi, Cooper. You can take your seat then. Yes. Hello, Bianca. Hello, you Professor know Stevens. what to do. I do. Thank <laughs> you. Goodbye. Okay. Your grade on this midterm will determine half of your. I have something in my eye. You will have seven allergies. Mm -hmm. and if you have any questions, I will be at the front of the classroom. Your time starts now. What to say every day when she looks at me with a question in class when I'm staring at her face and I guess she'll never see that when my eyes look at hers there's a thought that occurs and it's taking control over me I wanna bone my TA I wanna bang her up against the wall I wanna bone She's got it all! I'll have her once against the chalkboard And again on her desk We'll round base two and base three simultaneously As I'm thinking what's gonna be next I wanna bone my teeth I wanna bang her up against the wall I wanna bone my TA Beauty and brains Baby, she's got it all Cooper 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 Matthews, time is up. I'm gonna need your exam. This, these aren't real. I even read the answer to number seven aloud to the entire class. You know what, let's, let's try this again. How are imagery and symbolism used in Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner? Simultaneously? Hmm? <laughs> oh. 
Pretty smooth line, Coop. You know, I wish I could go back and change my answer to simultaneously. Okay, that test was worth half my grade, and I failed. Oh, yes, Mr. Matthews. Bianca just showed me your exam. You'll need to come by my office this afternoon. Yeah, sure. You know, the irony is that out of the whole class, you're the one probably in least need of extra credit. <sighs> Better safe than sorry. I mean, I figured I'd write the essay anyway since I wasn't sure how I was doing in the course. Not sure, but your work is extraordinary. <laughs> Before long, I'll be asking you to edit my papers. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let me just check my schedule. Uh, I was speaking in jest. Oh. <sighs> sorry. I'm a little off today. <laughs> I've been under a lot of pressure trying to get ready for something big. <laughs> I'm entering a writing competition where I'll be asked to read an essay in front of a panel of judges. It's such a prestigious competition and, and winning could really jumpstart my writing career. Well, why didn't you tell me the good news earlier? Jackie Pearson is entering the Kingston competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in 18 years at this school, I've taught only one Kingston champion. Hi, Professor Ass. I'm here. And there she is. I didn't know you were with someone. Uh, Jacqueline, um, you know Bianca, I think, my talented teaching assistant. New hotshot freshman. <laughs> <laughs> you could call her that, I suppose. In fact, she'll be joining you in this year's competition. Oh, you're entering too? Well, yes, I've won for the past three years in a row and wouldn't want to miss out on the big one. <laughs> if all goes as planned, I'll be the first four-time winner in competition history. Oh, so, yes, I can relate, is what I'm saying. Uh, to early success, that is. <laughs> Were you nervous your first year too? Well, amateur writers always find competition intimidating. <laughs> okay. All right, good back. Uh, oh, Mr. Matthews, how good of you to join us. Uh, I've been uh, noticing that you're struggling in class. In fact, you seemed awfully stiff this morning. Yeah. Uh, no, totally, everything's fine. I'm afraid it isn't. Uh, after your performance in the midterm, you're failing my class. I'll be fine. I just was having a bad day. Students on um, scholarship are expected to maintain high marks. In fact, if the semester were to end today, you would be stripped of your scholarship. Stripped? Yes, stripped. And the curious thing is that while your written work is perfectly fine, your in-class performance is, uh, how shall I say, abysmal. You are clearly distracted in class. And I think I know what's causing it. You do? Other people. So, it seems to me the only solution is one-on-one -on -one tutoring with Bianca. Oh, here's the form. Professor, I, uh, after I left, I forgot that I didn't turn in my extra credit uh, essay. Um, Professor, I'm sorry, but I just don't have any more time this semester for tutoring. I have my Kingston essay to write. But Bianca, part of your job is to help those who are struggling the most. I could do it, Professor. Great idea. <laughs> it's a rare treat to be teaching a student as eager as you. Uh, you have the form, Cooper. Let me remind you that you'll have to do extremely well in my course from now on just to pass it. Otherwise, you'll lose your scholarship. Hey, uh, thanks for helping me out in there. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, Bianca is clearly way too busy saving the world. I know. She must be an amazing writer. She won that big essay competition like three times. Yep, that's why she's the professor's go-to girl. And yet she still has time to mentor patients at the psych lab. Yeah, she's essentially <sighs> Ms. Perfect. And you're gonna have to be Mr. Perfect from now on and pass this class, okay? Can you write that essay by Friday? Uh, maybe. Well, if you do, I'm free then, and we can have our first tutoring session. I'll go over with you. Well, I'll try to write it by Friday. All right. I have to go to the library. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. A scholarship on the line, and a mom I have to call. 
How'd I end up in this bind with my back against the wall? She's won three times before, it's just my freshman year. Who do I think I am? What am I doing here? If it weren't for this, I'd never be failing out of this place. If it weren't for this, I'd never feel so second rate. If it weren't for this, I'd never need a tutor at all. If it weren't for this, wouldn't feel so small Excuse me Yeah, hi, this is Oh, yeah, that's my room, so that you lost your scholarship because you couldn't stop dry humping your death. <laughs> Come on, we'll figure something out. Look, now, there are a million hot girls at this school, okay? So what is it about this one that makes your ruler turn into a yardstick? Whatever, you don't understand. Coop, there's a really obvious solution here, buddy. Tell him, Lubes. You got a bone, Bianca. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, believe me, I, I would love that. But this is... Real life, we're talking about. How is that supposed to help my grade? It's extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about it, Coop. If you weren't so distracted by Bianca, how would you have done that test today? I don't know. Well, Bianca doesn't even notice me. It's like I'm invisible. Coop, you need to grow some balls. I have balls. Well, then you need to grow some more. Yeah, like a, <laughs> like a bunch. <laughs> okay, right. I, all I have to do is uh, grow a bunch of balls and uh, bang her once, and she's out of my head forever. Yep, yes. All right. Bianca's not going away anytime soon. It's just gonna get worse, man. Oh, I can see it now. Clear as day. Well, he's probably gonna funk the final. Yeah, I can picture the F already. Well, that's yeah. if he makes it to the end of the semester. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? Fine, fine. If hooking up with Bianca is what I have to do to pass the class, then, then that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he's gonna bone his TA. <laughs> yeah, well, we got some work to do first. Mm. All right. Out of the way, YouTube. Chop, chop. Come on. So find another door. Hey, wait, Nate. Dude. Hey, they were just getting to the good part. You're a creep, Lubo. Uh, I am a true love connoisseur. <laughs> you know, besides that guy's shirt in my face, they were kind of a cute couple. Ball scooper? Balls. What? They were cute. To them, nobody else matters. Everyone wants that someday. Sure, I'm just waiting for the right pair of smoking hot twins. Or maybe triplets. Why subtle, right? Koopski, your idea of romance is adorable. And Nate, you got your twins. Right here, maybe triplets. What you looking for? Sometimes they come back. Get some sleep, Coop. Operation TA Bone launches tomorrow. <laughs> Night, Coop. Night, Lulu. Night, Nate. Night, Lou. Good night, Moon. What do you think? I know it's a little. <clears throat> Well, it's a good enough start. Certainly needs a lot of editing, though. Oh, screw her. I think it's great. Danielle, should I even bother entering the Kingston? Oh, if this sucked, trust me, I would be the first to tell you. But it doesn't. It rocks. <laughs> Hard. OK? Thanks, Danielle. You know, it's based on something I wrote in here. Can you actually let me read it? Does that mean that I'm finally gonna get- No! Okay, fine. So are you gonna enter the Kingston or what? Sure. Great! <laughs> okay, now, on to more important things. There are hot, available guys everywhere, Jackie. It's time you started looking, okay? Let's just, let's just take a look. Okay, <laughs> okay check him out. He is so, well, buff. 
No? Okay. What about him? He's a total rebel. He doesn't play by anybody's rules. Oh my god. And him. He's just... Well, he's just straight out of a GQ center bowl. Are you excited for me or just excited? Must be a side effect of the long distance relationship. Jackie, I haven't seen Michael in like a month and I don't think he's gonna visit anytime soon. So can you please just do me a favor? Let me hear about some hot dates, okay? <sighs> I need this. I, I think I'm just not as boy crazy as you are. Do you think anyone is cute or is this a lost cause? <sighs> He's kind of cute. Oh, you like them tall, huh? No, I actually met him. Cooper? Oh. Well, I always thought he was kind of shy, but... Okay, great. <laughs> Dude, quit gawking at her. Hello? Earth to Cooper! What? Hi! Sorry, I, I got distracted again. <laughs> you are so gonna lose that scholarship, man. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? I can't just walk up and bone her. No, you can't. But, you don't have to sit there helplessly either. Why are you getting up? Listen, Cooper, you gotta tear your eyes away Cause you got a lot of work to do before you can bone your TA If you're really gonna pass the class, then you're gonna have to make a change It's time to start from scratch, you got a girl to catch And I know you're gonna think it's strange But before you can get her, you got to learn to walk and run up for your plan to surely come undone just think baby steps and don't worry about being shy when there's a mountain to climb you take a step at a time which means you gotta start with a guy what check him out where are you going with this what do you think of him i don't know he scares me all right fair enough how about that guy mm, kind of Unwashed. That guy? God, he looks like something straight out of a GQ centerfold. <laughs> okay, but well you wouldn't care if any of them rejected you, would you? Uh, well, no. Exactly. It's funny, Cooper, how simple interaction becomes more complicated with sexual attraction. Starting the day right now, we're gonna wipe the slate clean. You're gonna talk to guys, and by and by, you're gonna see just what I mean. Because you're not afraid to reject you, so you can play it cool and fast. I chit chatting with your brand new friends until your social nerves have passed. Then, with newfound confidence, it's time to put yourself in the mix. Get ready to close, move past the bros, you can head straight toward the chicks. Now go get him, Cooper Scooper. <laughs> Hi. I'm Cooper. So? What do you want? I like your... folder. Are you serious? I think it's nice. I mean, it is kind of my favorite folder. You have great taste. Why haven't we met? Are you seeing this? Oh. Well, I guess he's not so shy after all. <laughs> <laughs> so he came back to find that his car had been sucked into the swamp and, and nobody had the heart to tell him he wasn't actually in Cleveland. <laughs> awesome, man. That you are so awesome. Awesome. Well, I say they loved you. That wasn't bad at all. I really think I can do this, Nate. Now you're standing tall. Just get used to this feeling, Coop, and you'll be boning soon for sure. It's gonna take.
make me fall. You're like a shooting star. Driving the fastest car. Oh, man, a fat cigar. On my way to a bar. Where all the hotties are. Soon I'll be ready to talk with her. Ugh, Cooper. What are you doing out of your seat? I, I froze again. Yeah, but you were great with the guys. See, we're not done yet. Next step is to find a girl you're already comfortable with and do the exact same thing. Someone who can be a stepping stone to hotter, more intimidating girls. Michael, it looks like I am out 10 bucks. Why? Don't eavesdrop. Okay, fine. We just had this bet that you were asexual. Nice apparatus. Wait, what side were you on? Hey, uh, Jackie. Hi, Cooper. Hey, are we still on for tutoring tomorrow? Yeah, looking forward to it. Bingo. What? That's your stepping stone girl. I mean, you're clearly comfortable with her, so once you get with her, we can move on to the third and final act. Bianca. Oh, keep eating whatever it is they feed you, boys. Someone's doing something right around here. Uh, looks like little Miss Bookworm's back again. Hi, Maxine. Ooh, but Miss Bookworm found herself a piece of man meat. Um, no, that's that's my friend Cooper. We're just gonna work on some essays together. About time you found yourself a man. I was getting sad watching you spend all your nights alone. How often do you come here? Uh, I, uh... I, I was being hypothetical. Okay, well, hypothetically. What if you took this entire paragraph and stripped it down to one sentence? One idea, no fluffy stuff. Sorry, fluffy stuff. <laughs> what are you working on? Um, just some ideas for that essay contest. Ah, uh, Kingston. Why did Bianca say this year was the big one? Well, there's just a lot more on the line now that David Miller is judging. He's judging, wow. I know, he's been my favorite author since I was like, six. Wait, you've been reading novels since you were six? Shut up. <sighs> so uh, what do you get if you win? Well, I won't win, but the winner gets um, a book deal. Wow. Yeah, with the biggest publishing company in North America. <laughs> Second place? A pat on the back. No pressure there. Okay, okay, now you're actually saying something. See? You are a good writer. I don't understand why you're feeling out of this class. Oh, I have trouble on the tests. But the tests are like the easiest part of the class. Questions no. like, where did Romeo and Juliet take place? And you wrote, up against the wall. Yeah, I have test taking anxiety. Okay, for number five, we just drew a picture of of what? What is that? That is base two, uh, base three. I'm a, huh. a big baseball fan. Number 14, another picture. Yes. Wow, that's just a sketch of a, wow, uh, I, I got it wrong. Awesome. Amazing depth of field. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Sure. What was up with you in class yesterday? You seem to know everyone. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, well, I, uh, I, I like to let loose <clears throat> sometimes, you know? Really? What do you mean? I mean, I party and, and things like that. Oh, I, I party. Really? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, I just, I don't see it. <laughs> what do you mean you don't see it? No, as a matter of fact, Danielle and I are going to a party, um, tonight. You should come. I suck not to have legs. What are you all smiles about? I have a date to a party tonight. I think this stepping stone girl thing is working out. <laughs> With Jackie? She parties. Yeah, I guess so. Well, what did I tell you? Keep taking my advice, man. Oh, hey, and to top it off, I scheduled a meeting with Bianca. I told her to question about class or but really I'm just gonna spend the whole time talking up what a great guy you are. Yeah man, you're gonna bone your TA. I am gonna bone my T day. Look, there she is. Wait a second, who's that guy with her? Uh just a friend? Best 
friends. Friends who rub noses together. Nose rubbing friends, is that, is that, that's a thing? All right, this is no good. Lubo, go find out everything you can about this guy. Use your creeping skills, now go, go. Of course, she would have a boyfriend. I need to go to my thinking place. Okay, what always gets in the way of hot girls? Do we have to do this here? Just answer. I don't know, the homework. It's boyfriends. And what do we do with boyfriends? We, uh, we wait until they break up with their girlfriends. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not this time. This time, we break them up. And what breaks up boyfriends? Bad breath. Other hot girls. <laughs> All right, listen up, dude. A hot girl walks up to you, okay? You're minding your own business. She says something real seductive like, Ooh, you're a naughty boy. <laughs> I mean, would you cheat? <sighs> I would. He will too. That's why they call it sabotage. <laughs> All right, let's go. We get a hot girl who knows how to flirt with tight jeans and a low cut shirt. She'll say something like, let's go to your room. That seems kind of, I don't know, wrong. That's why they call it sabotage. We're gonna find a party. This could work. Where are we actually gonna find a girl to be all sexual with a complete stranger? Oh, I don't know. She'd have to be hot, sexually repressed, and definitely horny. You think what I'm thinking? Probably not. I got the perfect girl we could ask. Sits next to Jackie in our English class. You mean that girl with the cute little oh yeah apparatus? Oh sure, but come on. You know Danielle would be perfect. Well, she'll, she'll probably be at the party. <sighs> this could actually work. <laughs> well, that's the spirit. That's why they call it sabotage. You're a closet hottie. And now it's time to come out of the dark. And once Cooper's near, you'll win his heart. You'll win his heart. There you go. Thanks. Hello. Let's see, they call you Crystal. I'm gonna need some information. And a latte. Hey, Danielle's calling me. Danielle, Danielle? Yeah, Danielle, Danielle. Hey, Danielle, Danielle. Oh, um, hey. So, uh, Jackie and I are headed to this super cool, super secret party tonight. You and Cooper wanna walk us over, say, 10 o'clock? Oh, we'll be there. Danielle will be at the party. Did they say would go? Dude, that's great. Hey, Jackie, you've got this, you know. This could be my chance to know. Dude, take a breath. Yeah. over there talking to the scary guy from class. Oh, the, the one with the cool folder? <laughs> sure, whatever. Uh, all right, look, remember the plan. We have a friend who's been admiring her from afar. Cute. I think she's really cute, mm -hmm. he's just a little shy. Yeah. All right, yeah. chicks love that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, look, look, come here. What? Yeah. what if she can detect creepiness? That's a good thinking, huh? That's what I do. Hey, Danielle. Oh. Looking forward to this super secret party? Yeah, you guys bring your iPods? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Out. We are just uh, waiting on Jackie. Yeah. She's trying to get a cute oh. new outfit. Uh, cool. Uh, actually, until she gets here, could we talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. Uh, 
So, we have this friend who uh, really likes you. A really great guy too, one of our best friends. Yeah, and he's always telling us how pretty he thinks you are and, and how he wants to get to know uh, you. Yeah, personally. Yeah. That is so sweet. Is he cute? Oh, you should see him. Uh, like 6'2"? Six 6'4", six basically. Yeah, uh, a cool hair, cool uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, jacket. Oh, he sounds nice. Oh, trust me, he is nice. I mean, he and I go to the gym all the time, work out together, and he always benches way more than I can because he's all buff and ripped and stuff, but you know, not once has he put me down for it. No, just super nice dude. Can he bench me? Hey. Yeah, hi. All right, she's ready. Let's roll out. Shall we? So you didn't come back the other night? Okay, so your friend's jacket mm -hmm. just kind of like, you know, flare out. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> so he's been terrified of swamps ever since. <laughs> and he's still convinced it was all in Cleveland. <laughs> he's not weird or anything. Oh no, we're tight. You're sure he has cool hair? Everywhere. Uh, okay, to be completely honest, I'm not much of a partier. I don't party much either. Or at all. <laughs> really. <laughs> I knew it. You did it. All right. I'll do it. All right, cool. We'll meet you at the coffee shop tomorrow at 3. Sure he's going to be there, right? The girl at the coffee shop says he's there every afternoon, seven days a week. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so keep an eye on him. Stuck away, creepo. Oh, I will. All right, people, are you ready? Yeah! Cue up your music in one, two, three, dance! Whenever you're ready. I'm trying, one sec. It's the end. Excuse me. Hi. Yes, there appear to be some students throwing an unauthorized dance party in the courtyard. And since you're officially on the clock and all, I thought maybe you'd want to do more than just sit there. I'll deal with this. What happened? I forgot to charge it. That's okay, you should, you should keep dancing. I should be headed home anyway. Wait, I've got an idea. <laughs> Just what do you people think you're doing? Because it looks like you're attempting to throw an unauthorized dance party. And do you understand why that is such a big problem? Because not a single one of you can dance! I think this is gonna end in a dance-off. Why does this always happen to me? say we are officially party animals now. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, do you want to get out of here? Yeah.
Good job, man, all right? Now just remember, one step at a time, all right? I'll meet you tomorrow to debrief before Bianca, okay? Go, go, go! Ah! Stepping stone, girls! He's gonna bone his TA. <laughs> what did you just say? I said he's gonna... I said, why haven't we met? So where do you want to go? You were the one who wanted to leave. You tell me. Well, how about... Uh, some place cool. Mm, such as? Nah, I didn't actually have anywhere in mind. Just some place less crowded. I know, please. Follow me. Aren't we a little dolled up for the library, Miss Bookworm? Okay, maybe I should have picked a place. Maxine, you remember Cooper. Oh, you think I'd forget something so fine? I have eyes. I just wish those baggy pants weren't blocking my view. Maxine. Oh, come on. I was just messing with the boy. Don't stay here too long. You'll end up like her. That wouldn't be such a bad thing. We won't be long. Hey. Hey. Okay, what? So you just know everybody in the library? Oh my god, you don't sleep here, do you? Oh, of course not. Oh, they won't let me. You keep your stuff at the library. I mean, I just figure what's the point of carrying it all back and forth, you know? Uh, and as the music enveloped them, the room knew only of their mirrored embrace. That is a cool line. Okay, that's classified. Okay, are you ever gonna let me read anything of yours? Sure. Nah. <laughs> is there a problem? You're gonna get up and read in front of the entire Kingston <sighs> audience. Uh, David Miller, the judges. I can't even have a sneak peek. Okay, this is not Kingston material. It's my own personal writing from my eyes only. I don't know what you're so worried about. I've just... I've never really let anyone read from my notebook before. Yeah, for me, I'd just be scared of reading from all those people. What people? The Kingston, the audience, <sighs> the judges. I mean, you're obviously a great writer, but don't they scare you? I'll just, um, picture them in their underwear. I'll be fine. <laughs> I want to show you something. How did you know we could get up here? Well, the night before midterms, I just couldn't stand to study anymore, so I started roaming around and I found this. <laughs> Makes you realize you're not alone being up here. Hey, look. Uh, go for it. Uh... <laughs> Ouch. What are you thinking about? All right, hypothetically. My specialty. Let's say you were gonna write an essay. Voluntarily? <gasps> Would you rather write something extraordinary that no one ever reads? Or? Something ordinary that everybody in the whole world reads. Well, I guess I'd rather write something extraordinary. But no one would ever know. I would. <laughs> it's tough, that's all. Yeah, but people read your stuff all the time. You're a great writer. People read my work for class, that's not me. Well, show them what you showed me. I don't know. <sighs> Sometimes hoping. Sometimes it's just better to believe that you can be extraordinary than to discover that you aren't that special. You aren't that unique, that you're just 
another scared kid pretending to have it all figured out. Think of everywhere that you'll go And everyone who will know you Who is it they'll say hello to? Is that you or some disguise? Think of everyone that you'll meet Take an entire lifetime Who is it that you think you'll find To let behind those walls? What a shame! Guarded. It's like half your life's discarded. Aren't you scared that we won't get that back? It isn't that easy. Well, okay, what if you could write something extraordinary and everyone would know about it? Think of all the things that you'll do and take everything still unwritten. Is that what you'd give them to show who you are? Look at everything that you see From here and to the horizon What would we lay our eyes on If nobody took charge? What a shame living guarded It's like half your life's discarded And aren't you scared? that we won't get that back. When we look back five years from now, will we think of what we did or what we left out? Cause I don't want to be looking backwards for the rest of my life. I want to know I made the most of each night. like half your life's discarded and, and I'm scared, scared that we won't get that back cause I know we won't get that you been all night? I was in the library, believe it or not. <laughs> Jackie, we talked about this, okay? You can't spend all of your time in the library. No, no, it's not what you think. So, you finally succumbed to your feelings for Maxine. What? No, I was with Jackie. You were with him all night? Oh, you have to tell me everything as soon as I get back. Oh, where are you going? Coffee with his friend. And what does your boyfriend Michael have to say about all this? He's not here right now, but he said something about meeting with your TA. Oh, that's right. Oh, but you know Nate. I'm sure he'll put in a good word for you. He's Cooper's friend too. And you know, I'm just gonna say hi, chat a little bit. Maybe put in a good word for you? Danielle, I know how you get. You haven't seen Michael in a really long time, but I mean, you have to try to contain yourself or they're gonna think you're a total slut. Oh yeah, guys hate that. Oh, calm down. You know, I kind of wish Nate weren't doing this anymore. So, first time in office hours this semester. To what do I owe this great pleasure? Uh, well, the, uh, uh, a poem we read in class today was just so moving. I had to come in and tell you how moved I was. Hmm. I just, you know, just, I just couldn't feel all these, uh, feelings. You know, I just wanted to go out and live life to the fullest. That poem was just so inspiring. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Hmm. I just touched on so many themes of life and, um, and uh, love and, you know, uh, emotion. Did it now. Yeah, the emotion of um, a friendship. Mm. Yeah, the kind of friendship you can only have with your best friend in the whole world. And speaking of best friends, Cooper Matthews. Wow, <laughs> what a great guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's not such a great student, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he's come so far, though. I mean, 
you know, everyday stuff now, and I'm like, whoa. You know, yeah. Whoa. And they, they sound scintillating. And as much as I love chatting with you about absolutely nothing, I have an appointment soon at the psych department. Oh, I didn't know you were a crazy person. What do you, hear voices, see dead people, anything cool like that? I'm not a patient, I'm a volunteer. Well, you know who else loves to volunteer? Mm. Cooper Matthews, wow. You two just have so much in common. <laughs> Please stop comparing me to some pipsqueak freshman. He's taller than he looks. Look, the professors at this school actually respect me, and so does the patient that I'm about to go see. All right, well then what's he got? Like, multiple manic sclerosis disorder? No. He has man-child syndrome. Wait, so he's a... I'm sorry, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite serious, actually. Not quite a man, not quite a child. He's stuck somewhere in between. Kind of like Zac Efron. <laughs> he looks the same as you or me. Except you're not a dude. But looks aren't always what they see. I'm sorry, oh, let me get this straight. So this guy, when he has memories of his childhood, he regresses to the mind of a child? Yeah. Okay, well then what kind of memories are we talking here? Well, man-child syndrome is caused by oppressive childhoods. My man-child had an overbearing mother, and any thought of her could flip the switch. A mother's words become a part of us. They last forever in our Sounds kind of Freudian. <laughs> so you never know what might set it off. It could happen any time. Cause trapped within somewhere deep inside, our memories repressed from when he was a child. Office hours. Never again. <clears throat> Never been up there. <laughs> so, anyway, um, what with the mm. Kingston coming up, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to be spending a lot more time in the psych department, so. Wait, was your man-child entering the competition or something? <laughs> uh, no, 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 of course not. He's a, he's a man-child. He can't read or he can't write. He, he, he couldn't even enroll in school if he wanted to. I mean, he is lucky to have me as his mentor. Okay. Well, this has been productive. Uh, good luck with your little uh, man-child or... Whatever. Well, I wouldn't mock him if I were you. I mean, he's 
as big as you are. Please, come on. No, I mean, he's like 6'4", basically. I'm sorry, uh, this guy, uh, uh, cool hair? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool jacket? Yeah. That's the guy with man-child syndrome? Yeah, so watch what you say about him. And he's not your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God, no. Michael, Danny's boyfriend. How's it going? Oh, hey. Yeah, Danielle was actually just talking about you. Oh, really? What about? Yeah, she's been thinking about you a lot recently. She really misses you. You should come visit sometime. It's funny you say that, because I'm literally sitting in your courtyard right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People here sure are friendly, Jackie. They wouldn't even let him rent another truck until that one was built out of the swamp. <laughs> this whole time he thought it was in Cleveland? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, Coop, listen, we got a problem. Well, what happened? All right, you're not gonna believe it. You know the guy, uh, cool hair, cool jacket? Yeah, yeah, Bianca's boyfriend. Except he's not her boyfriend. What? He's not her boyfriend? All right, Coop, listen. Uh, th the guy we thought was her boyfriend, he has man child syndrome. Oh my god. What's, what's man child syndrome? That's why he always goes to the psych department when he leaves the coffee shop. Yes, look, we gotta go save Danielle. What's man Oh, and that is why he is always writing in his black notebook. Wait, are you still stalking him? Till the day I die, Okay, baby. what's man-child syndrome? <laughs> well, it's quite serious, actually. Not quite a man, not quite a child. It's a long story. Look, we gotta go save Danielle. Wait, you're here? I know, I couldn't help it. I woke up at like nine this morning and I've been driving for the past five hours or so. Any idea why Danielle isn't answering her phone? Um, no, no, she's she's probably at the library again. Um, well, I, I'll just, I'm gonna try to track her down, okay? Cool, well, maybe we could go find her together? No, 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 we can't do that because she is probably at the all-girls library. Um, because, you know, Danielle, she doesn't like to distract herself with boys, uh, which is why she has you. Okay, this has been really fun. I'm gonna go find her and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. All-girls library. What kind of strange college is this? Watch out, we have a man-child emergency! Nate! Wait, 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 wait. Jump on! Go without me! I'll only slow you down! Excuse me, friends, hi. Uh, where's the all-girls library? It's in my dick, bro! <laughs> it's okay. in his dick! Okay, fellas, it's completely unnecessary and mildly unsanitary, okay? I really need to pick me up. Hey, get out the way! There's a man child to save! And a girl who likes to misbehave! I'll cut some stupid test! We'll get out of this mess! I wanna see a man child regress! Should've never set them up, well now I know! What were you thinking? I don't know! We gotta go, go, go! No time to waste, we gotta go, go, go! Quit playing games, we gotta go, go, go! I bet Danielle will think he's hot! Oh god, this is something we've got to stop! Yeah. Gotta get our you know, I just want to say next time you don't need to go with your friends. You can just come up and say hi to me. I I'm sorry, have we met before? Just what game do you think you're playing with me? I am your mother, do you understand? Just what game do you think you're playing with me? Should have never let her leave, now it's all on me. Michael's here and where's she? I gotta go, go, go. He's calling back, I gotta go, go, go. No time to chat, I gotta go, go, go. And they said the guy was hot. Oh God, this is something I've gotta stop. Gotta get myself to the coffee shop. We gotta go, go, go. We're almost there. Gotta go, go, go. I'm getting scared, gotta go, go, go. You're trying to bear, gotta go, go, go. No time to spare, gotta. If you're gonna keep ignoring me, then I'm just gonna have to go back to my room. Unless, that is, of course, you think that we both should go to your room. 
go to your room. Um, no. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Danielle. Manchild. Danielle. Manchild. I can't believe I drove all the way up here to see this. Who's the new guy, Danny? Oh, please, He's Michael. Manchild. Wait, Michael, wait. Michael, please. Okay, just let me explain. I. I was only out with that guy as a favor to my friends, okay? I really like ninjas because they're like super quiet and they also have throwing stars. Kuru, what is wrong with your friend? Uh, Jackie, we don't know this guy. Uh, we don't know him well is what he means. You see, Coop and I usually Not hang Nate. out. No more games. Let me just explain. Yeah, please do. What is going on? Listen, look, hey, this is all just one big misunderstanding, okay? Cooper just needed that little sass bag out there to seduce this man child here because we thought that he was dating the girl that Cooper has been in love with since the first day of school, okay? But as it turns out, he's a man child. So, just, just no problem. Here, nope, don't. It's just one big misunderstanding. Cooper, what is he talking about? No, Jackie, it's, it's not like that. Okay, then tell me. Tell me what it's like. Jackie. Jackie. No, you know what, explore. Cooper? You have done enough. No yelling. We're in the no, no yell no, zone. Yes, I know. Okay, listen. I really don't care what happened at the coffee shop or what made you regress. I just need you to be a grown up now, okay? Feed off the couch. I like trucks. They're big and they make a lot of noise. Kingston submissions are in one week. We really don't have time to play games like this. All I want in the world is to just have a nice, easy writing session. So can you take out your notebook, please? I like tigers. My mom took me to the zoo once, and she let me pet a tiger. I don't think she should have done that. I agree. But what I think you should do is just take out your notebook, please, so we can start writing. OK. You know what? Now Bianca is angry, and I'm going to count to 10. One. Two. I don't want to write. You're not the boss of me. Chet, where is your notebook? No yelling. Yes, sorry. Where is it? <laughs> I don't, I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? You're yelling? Yes, you know what? Of course I'm yelling. My essay is in that notebook. All of my essays are in that notebook. There are essays. Yes, yes, they are our essays. Tell me what happened at the coffee shop. Tell me everything. Hey, Coop. Look, I'm sorry, bro. Hey, at least she doesn't have a boyfriend, right? Come on, look at the bright side. I mean, girls are like 10 times more likely to hook up with guys and make them angry. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. I just wanted to pass English. Look, Coop, I had no idea this was gonna happen. I mean, come on, how could I have predicted all of this? Well, you really don't get it, do you? I'm angry because you tried to turn me into you. And you didn't stop once to consider whether I wanted to be like you. Well, I don't. You know, I don't want to go from one meaningless hookup to the next. It's, it's pathetic. You want to know why you've never had a, a serious relationship with a girl? Well, it's because it's impossible to take you seriously. You don't even take yourself seriously. You're a joke. I'm a joke? <laughs> try looking at yourself for once and stop blaming me for all your problems. It's not my fault you clam up every time you try to speak to a girl. Yeah. It's not my fault that the girl you're obsessed with doesn't even know you exist. You know, actually, Coop, I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. I don't need to fall in love with every single girl I meet to feel good about myself. If anyone's a joke, it's you, you virgin. Just get out of my room. Look, Coop, I didn't... Get the hell out of my room.
It's, uh, it's Cooper. Can I come in? You know, they broke up because of you guys. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We had no idea. That... Apologize to her, not me. Jackie, I just want to be completely honest with you so we can move past all this. Okay. Um, who was the other girl? Uh, it, it was Bianca. But... Wow. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so what was I, some, some stepping stone to the girl you really wanted to be with? No, no. You were, I, I mean, yes, at, at first, but. You are so not who I thought you were. But then that night in, in the library, I realized that you were different, that what we had is different. Cooper, was you just... lied to me, okay? You lied to my best friend. Lord knows who else you lied to. <laughs> I don't even know why I kissed you. You know what, Cooper? Here, you can give that to Professor Stevens. And if you need any more help with tutoring, I'm sure Bianca is available. Jackie. I'd really like you to leave now, Cooper. Sorry that things didn't work out for you and Michael. In a way, they did. Good night. And I thought this was a girl's dorm. So what were you doing here? I was visiting a friend. Yeah. Was it one of the friends who ambushed Chet in the coffee shop and stole his notebook and made him regress? I'm sorry. Don't deny it, honey. Everyone saw you there, you and your little tutor, Jackie. We were both there, but I didn't steal yeah, it. See, if I don't get that notebook, I could really cause a lot of trouble for both of you because that notebook is worth more than your little insignificant life. And as I can see it, your little life depends on passing the English final. And I grade your English final, don't I? So I would think long and hard about giving me what I want soon. Time and your thoughts turn to hurt like autumn's change to winter. You lament for the way things once were. Silence is thunder, and do feels like frost. The world's that much bleaker. When you know what you've lost So we drift back to memories Of the happiest days we've known Full of fun and games and of laughter Where the seeds of our friendships were sown the dreams of our childhood fresh in our mind they cling to our conscience till we leave them behind oh 
to be free. Oh, this man child and me to break these bonds of slavery and me. A man like no other. Stop. Sit down. You know, my Kingston competitors are probably polishing up their essays, making sure they're perfect. But I'm not. You know why? Because you lost it, okay? So enough of this singing nonsense, and you're gonna start writing a new draft immediately, or I'm never gonna talk to you again, okay? Do you understand that? That's what you said last time. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I just need you to write one more essay, okay? And then we can have playtime every day. How's that sound? Fact. Mm -hmm. Girls have cooties. Fact. You're a girl, so you have cooties. I don't have time for this. This is the big year. Did you know that? David Miller is gonna be there. We could have a book deal. I mean, just, just think about how proud your mother would be to see her little boy all grown up become a great author. Now listen, I know your mom didn't always believe in you, but guess who did? Bianca did. And she still does. What would she say if you went boldly where no man, child, has ever gone before? It's no use. Useless. In the future, I would avoid using a split infinitive in the subjunctive mood. Chat. You seem exasperated. What ails you? Oh, you're back, thank God. Oh my God. Can you write? Please tell me you can write. The life of the mind is ever prone to self-expression. Of course I can write. Oh, thank God. We might have enough time. Here you go. Ah. I would prefer to use my own notebook. I know, I know. We don't have it, so you're gonna have to just not. Do you think you could find it for me? No, I can't find it for you because you lost it, okay? I cannot keep track of all of your belongings. I can't follow you around the world cleaning up your mess. I am not your maid. I am not your maid. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Chet. There's my notebook. Oh, is it? <laughs> I totally got you. You were like, where's the notebook? And I was like, it's over there, but it wasn't over there. I'm so screwed. I'm gonna read. Jackie Pearson probably finished writing her essay. She's printed it out and put a staple in it, and she's probably turned it into Professor Stevens' office. You know, the thing I like about jets is that they go like super fast, and they also have bullets. Count to a thousand. Where are you going? I'm going to see something. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ah, twelve, thirteen. You know what today is, right? Yeah. Can you go on? She hates me. Wait, Bianca or Jackie? Yes. <laughs> well, if you want to go anyway, I could go with you. You would sit through a bunch of boring essays? Yeah. I mean, if you needed the company. Look, Nate. That stuff I said about um, you being a joke. No, look, I was being a real jackass. No, you were trying to help me. That's all you've ever tried to do. 
I'm sorry. Come here, bro. And hey, help me to tackle her before the final so she won't distract you. I don't think that'll be necessary. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail the class, no matter how well I do in the final. It's like Bianca's really got it out for me. And Jackie, too. Wait, what do you mean? Well, it's something about this missing notebook that I... Something's happened. We don't have much time. <sighs> Hi there, it's a pleasure. Oh, truly an honor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 53rd annual Kingston Award Ceremonies. Tonight, we will finally crown a winner. Andre, the Pismo model, even to those who consider the problem evanescent. Evanescent. Jackie. Come on, they're starting. You know that thing inside and out, okay? Do you like the word evanescent? Miss Pearson, we need you backstage now. Yeah, it's like my favorite word, okay? You'll do fine. Good luck, babe. Wait, how do you know all this? I heard it all when I was spying on the man-child at the psych department, and then I followed her to Professor Stevens' office where she used her key to get in. As just another quagmire in an already complicated trope of historical issues, but the issue is still of topical relevance, even to those who consider the problem evanescent. Bianca stole Jackie's essay? Mm -hmm. Why would she do that? Because she lost hers. Or should I say, she lost this. That was excellent. Very sound. So all this time, she's been writing everything for her. Everything, including her past three Kingston essays. So she became a TA by ripping off someone else's work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> by ripping off the work of a man-child. It's genius, really. The wisdom and technical mastery of a man. The wonderment and naivete of a child. It's creepy. Okay, well, we have to do something. All right, if Bianca reads that essay... Oh, God, it's already started. Um... Okay, I have a plan, but it's gonna take balls. A bunch of them. You guys go on ahead to the Kingston. I've gotta stop to make. We never just stop and think about why we conform. When is it best to break free from all- Are you sure that was Jackie's on? essay? Positive, I've heard her read it aloud a million times. We've got to tell somebody. She has no way of proving it. Professor Stevens never read it and no one else did. In conclusion, I think the internet is the future of living. Besides, Bianca has won that competition three times. There's no need for cars or houses there. Sounds like only a total or badass sun. can save the situation now. Or Barbie dolls. Uh, Maxine! Well, well, well. I, I have to get into the library. Oh, library's closed, sugar butt. Uh, listen, Maxine, you have to let me in. I, my friend, she, she keeps a notebook inside. She really needs it right now. If you could just open it back up. I, look, I would do anything. <sighs> Forgetting to dress yourself in the morning? Well, we're doing a study down at the It's nothing to be ashamed about. <sighs> Out of the way, you two! And now, for our final contestant, Miss Jacqueline Pearson. Were you with Maxine? Lubo, I need the man child's notebook. Yeah. Let's do this, baby. Oh, sorry. You may begin at any time. Um. We are ready 
whenever you are. Let me take care of this. You and I have a little score to settle. Oh, it looks like somebody wants a rematch. Young man, do you realize where you are? I know exactly where I am. Bianca didn't read her own essay today. She stole Jackie Pearson's. <laughs> Can someone please get him out of here? He's clearly lost his mind. I mean, look at what he's wearing. Besides, why would I, of all people, steal someone else's essay when I've won the Because game? you've been doing it for years. I have original drafts of every single essay Bianca has submitted, including her past three Kingston essays. Not one word is in her own handwriting. She didn't write any of it. Take a look. I can't prove anything. Now, maybe I can't, but a man named Chet can. He's part of a study down at the psych lab on man-child syndrome. What is man-child syndrome? <laughs> well, it's quite serious, actually. And for the past three years, he's been the best writer on campus, but nobody knew it because they didn't give him a chance. Nobody took him seriously or bothered to read anything he wrote. That is until Bianca came along to exploit him. Oh! It's gripping. What are you doing? You can't just... just show them what you showed me. Miss Pearson, uh, this has been a highly uh, unusual day. I'm sorry another person read your essay on what should have been a very special occasion. It's fine, Mr. Miller, but given the circumstances, um, would you permit me to read something I've written in here? Oh, it would be our pleasure. <laughs> Every day we strive for it. When we watch people pass us by, when we dress up for a party, when we get coffee with perfect strangers, we're really just searching. We're searching for that belief, that knowledge that we are not alone, that someone's got our back. If it weren't for you, I'd never have burst through that door. If it weren't for you, I'd never have found something worth fighting for. If it weren't for you, I'd never have gone to an iPod dance. If it weren't for you, I'd still have my favorite pair of pants. If, if it weren't, weren't for you, if it weren't for you Till now I thought Maybe we're better alone But you've shown I'm not fine on my own If it weren't for you Till now I thought Maybe we're better alone But you've shown If it weren't for you, I'd never have seen the library at night. If it weren't for you, I'd never have seen a man-child face to face. If it weren't for you, I'd never have slept on a bookcase. If it weren't for, for you, if, if it, it weren't, weren't for you. you
burst through that door If it weren't for you I never found, found something, something worth fighting for or see something in us that we couldn't see ourselves. Maybe in the end, we should just embrace the fact that together, we're anything but ordinary. Total bad. Awesome. Ah, what an essay. Oh, yes. Nothing to be ashamed about there. So how was it? It was... Extraordinary. That one, I won! I won! I won! Ms. Pearson, congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much. Jackie! I knew you could do it. Well, I had help. I mean, how many guys get tutored by a girl with a book deal? <laughs> Not from the largest publishing company in North America. No, Cooper, this was all you. All you. Hey, let me get that for you. What? You don't have to do that. Listen, it's the least I could do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I try. Oh, good work, champ. Oh, my bad. You didn't even have to bone your TA to do it. Ow! <laughs> well, I guess you sort of did bone her by getting her fired and having her Kingston title mm -hmm. stripped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Chet wrote those essays and he deserves the credit. No, you don't get it. You just got it. You actually you just have to listen to me. He thought he was in Cleveland. He thought he was in Cleveland? Yeah, yeah he thought he was, he was in, in a Cleveland. swamp. Yeah, he was in a swamp, but he thought he was in Cleveland. There are no swamps in Cleveland. We gotta figure out where this guy was. was are there no swamps Cleveland? in Cleveland? Or was he in a swamp? Cleveland swamp. Cleveland swamp. Cleveland. Swamp. That is unclear. I have Hello, no boys. idea. Oh, hey there. How are you? You're hey, looking you're nice Crystal. today. Well, thank you, Lubo. Not looking too bad yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think she likes you. And Chet, I heard about the writing awards. Congrats. Thank you. Can't wait to read your new stuff. Just promise you won't forget about us when you get all big and famous. <laughs> Never. We'll have to count on Lubo here to make sure you're grounded. You are grounded. <laughs>